What if I told you that you can make an extra $5,000 a month just by creating content? Yes, you heard that right. It's 2023 and there is literally no better time than now to start making money online. Hey you guys, my name is Callie Alexandria and I'm so glad you're in this video with me today. I'm gonna to be talking all about UGC, how to make money from it, my experience, and how it makes me a good salary every single month. So excited to talk about this, but make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy it. I post videos just like this every single Wednesday, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. Let's go. So if you're new around here, UGC stands for user generated content. It basically just means that it is the content that is created by real consumers over employees or influencers. So a lot of times brands will use UGC content for their page organically, or they will actually use it for paid ads as well. But I did pull a stat that I think is so interesting, especially now in 2023, since TikTok is so hot, there are so many great opportunities for UGC, but UGC actually increased conversions by 10% in, in the online buying process, which I think is crazy because it just is more relatable and more authentic than like an influencer promoting something on their page. Obviously that can still work really, really well, but brands have actually found that UGC content running ads and just having that content on their page is just so much more beneficial than just like influencers talking about the product. But 75% of marketers actually claim that UGC makes it a little bit more real and authentic. But the reason it is so different than being an influencer, and I know people get a little bit confused with this, but it's nice because if you're a UGC creator, you actually don't need a big following on your own brand pages or on your own social platforms, which I think is amazing because a lot of brands aren't like just looking at your engagement rate or how many Instagram followers you have or how many TikTok followers you have. It is solely just for their brand and it's never actually posted on your page, which I think is amazing, especially as somebody who is an influencer who started as an influencer first. And I have worked with so many brands in the past and I feel like I don't do a lot of brand collaborations anymore unless it's really, really authentic to my audience and me because one, it does take a lot of work and two, it's not as like relatable if it's like a one-off product. I hope that like makes sense. I don't know, but I just, love UGC and how creators and content creators, smaller creators are making money from this because there is such a need because so many brands need a whole bunch of different types of content. So this is literally the perfect opportunity. So in 2023, if you are looking to become a content creator, you're looking to start with UGC, now is the time. Do not put it off any longer. So that is the background and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tips. I have used these tips for my own business and I make more than $5,000 a month just with UGC content itself. So I feel like I have mastered this and I am so excited to share this with you guys because nothing's ever too saturated. I don't believe that content creation is oversaturated. Anybody can come into this as long as you just find your unique personal brand and voice. So that's what we're gonna talk about. The very first thing you need to do as a UGC creator or as an aspiring UGC creator is to actually find the niche you are most interested in or that you want to be an expert in. So this is usually something that you already have experience in or you are passionate about. So for example, makeup is a great UGC industry. There's so many different makeup brands out there and that could be such a great industry to get into. So if you're like, oh my God, I am great at doing makeup. I know all of these different makeup products. I know how to use them. This industry could be for you. Or you could be in the travel space or you can be in the health space. There's so many different industries and brands. So just kind of get creative with this. Think about, I guess, three different niches that you like or just three different fields that you're interested in and use those as your niches. Next, you wanna create a portfolio in Canva. So this is super, super easy. I highly recommend just going either on YouTube or TikTok and just like searching how to create a UGC portfolio in Canva and it will show you exactly how you do it. All you have to do is create a website in Canva. I think you might have to have the paid version of Canva, but it's literally so easy. I'll overlay my portfolio on the screen as well. But yeah, that's kind of what you have to do. There's so many templates in there as well, but also you can get inspiration from other creators on their portfolio. So highly recommend doing that. 
So my next tip actually goes with the last tip. So in your portfolio, you actually need content examples. So you actually need to go create a few different example pieces of content. So I can obviously like show or insert a clip of like an example UGC video. That is an example of UGC content. So it's basically like an ad for a brand that you would create as an influencer. So I have a ton of experience in that. So I was like, okay, this is easy for me. Like no worries, but yeah, that's how you should do that but you can just go get products like around your house and do a video similar to that. But it's super important to actually be talking about how the product helps somebody's pain points. And I feel like this could be a whole video in itself, but the purpose of UGC is actually selling somebody on a product. So yes, it kind of feels like an ad, you're promoting that product, but you also have to tell the viewer how the heck it's gonna benefit them. So I think a lot of times people don't succeed in the UGC industry because they're more focused on beautiful product shots whereas you actually need to be like telling how this product can benefit them so that's why it's super important to have a really good hook in the beginning of your video and like I said you can just search up on YouTube or TikTok about this there's so much information about it but again it could be a whole another video it's a very long-winded response but just know that UGC content performs and converts so much better whenever you are telling a story and telling how the product can help somebody else. Another tip is that you are never too good to take inspiration and learn from other people. So no matter wherever you are in your journey as a creator, you can always learn from other creators. Obviously you don't want to copy anybody because that can get you in some legal trouble, but it's super important to just like take inspiration from other creators. One of my favorite UGC creators right now on TikTok is UGC Ange, but check her out. She has so many tips and I actually took her UGC creator course. So that was super helpful if you guys are interested in that resource. I don't have a UGC creator course just for that, but yeah, highly recommend checking that out and just checking out all the tips because there's so much information on UGC right now. You just have to be a little bit resourceful and just learn from other people. So my next tip, and this one is optional, but it's super helpful if you're just getting into content creation and you need to start creating and learning how to create, but it's super important to put your content content out there. So you can make a specific page just for your UGC content. So go ahead and create a TikTok account or an Instagram account or a Twitter account and post your UGC examples. And I think that's really great to attract inbound opportunities so brands can see you and see that, oh, hey, like she creates content, that's amazing. So maybe I'll hire her. So that's super important. And plus like you never know who's watching. And I think that's the coolest thing. And if you're a content creator, like obviously you need to start creating content somehow, especially if you're just starting from scratch. So highly recommend get on TikTok, start creating content and yeah just develop and learn your craft and then the next thing you have to do everybody's favorite you actually need to find jobs so I really recommend looking on one LinkedIn looking on Upwork or Fiverr those platforms are so amazing to utilize in the beginning there are so many UGC jobs on there and it's great if you're just starting out so highly recommend those things you can also get on Facebook groups or you can also go on brands meet creators they have a whole like email news newsletter like almost every single day just sending UGC creators jobs for content so there's so many different resources you can utilize so just craft your pitch and really speak to the brand and give them value on how you can help them I always say this to my travel creator clients if you're not already familiar but I'm actually a travel creator coach so make sure you follow me over on TikTok and obviously I do UGC also because that's kind of the same realm of work or line of work. Sorry if you guys could hear that. Um, they're doing their grass cutting out there. But yes, I think I hit all the tips that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave me a comment because I feel like there's so much to cover in this field and UGC is such a big topic. So if you have any questions specifically, leave me a comment. I'll answer it or I'll make a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you stick around, subscribe because I post content like this every single Wednesday. Make sure you follow me on social media. Link down in the description box below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.